The other thing that I find very interesting about both your situations is you both took quite a long time to study. Uh, I know that many students tend to focus on what maybe the, the three-month time frame, but both of you, it sounds like, took about, about a year or so, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't necessarily in a true course. Uh, maybe only a portion of that was in a course. But before then, you were starting to review your notes. You were spending the time in class as building up for, for the MCAT. And I want to make sure we get Larry back in the conversation here, because one of the things that, that I know that you've been doing a lot of work on, Larry, is the idea of spaced learning. Uh, tell us a little bit about space learning right. and how that factors into this this notion of taking more time to study. Right. So, so one of the challenges uh, that we face uh, in terms of memory is that sometimes, you know, if we do a quick check on, you know, did we learn something, you know, our our judgment of did we get it may be off from the time where we actually have to do that recall on a given exam uh, for a given set of questions, and so. What really is more beneficial is, you know, reviewing something, testing yourself on something, and then allowing time to pass. Because what, what seems sort of counterintuitive is that actually when it's more difficult to retrieve a memory, you're actually engaging in a process that strengthens your memory for that given fact or concept. Uh, and so sometimes what happens is that the thing that feels more comfortable for a student would be, oh, I read a chapter and now I'm going to do a quick recall. Did I get it? And maybe because it's fresh in your memory, you know, you'll say, wow, I got it. And you'll, you'll feel really good and so maybe you'll put it down. But then a month later, because remember, your MCAT exam is not going to be immediately the next day and only on one topic, right? It's going to be on a multiplicity of topics. Uh, so then, you, you know, you really need to allow yourself to check your understanding as time goes on and that act of trying to remember it at a later date and spacing out your study intervals is really extremely beneficial uh, for when it comes time for test day. Absolutely. And I know that's why actually the Kaplan MCAT course is designed so that you'll study biology and then the next week you'll study general chemistry or organic chemistry and you'll cycle through things before you come back and do another round in that because that is has been shown to be very beneficial for students. But it's also just it helps to avoid it, the sort of burnout that DJ was talking about. It, it's easy to, uh, to just throw yourself into one subject and then just get so tired of it that you don't want to see it anymore. and It's very unmotivating for the student.